Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Q&A option within Google Meet. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Q&A within Google Meet is now available to enterprise editions. And so we're going to be looking at what exactly you can do with the Q&A functionality and how it works. Now, first things first, let's open up our Google Meet. Now I'm in my Google Meet right here. You can see I have five students invited to this meeting. At the bottom, I have all those demo accounts open and let's just start our Q&A. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go to the top corner and find our activities window. So let's go ahead and click on the activities. Now, one of those options there will be to start the Q&A. So let's go ahead and select Q&A. We're going to turn on Q&A and instantly you'll see that here down below, Q&A is now open. Now, there are two options. First, our students are asking us questions in the background as we are presenting something. Alternatively, we as a presenter can also ask a question. So say that I want to ask a question as the teacher or as the presenter, well, I can click on ask a question. So let me just click on that right now. I'm going to ask our students a question. Are you excited about this feature? And then I will send that question to my students. As soon as I click on post, you will see that the question appears here at the top and I have three options down below. The first is to hide this question. The second is to answer a question and mark it as answered, or I could also delete this question. Now let's jump into a student's account and let's see what the student sees on their end. Here we have our student account and they see that a question is active. So they can click on that and then they can see that question there. They can now upvote this question to show that they have a similar question. And so when they click on this little upvote icon, that question gets upvoted. Let's do that with two more accounts. I'm going to jump into this demo account and we're going to upvote that question as well. And then another account is also going to upvote the question. You as a teacher instantly see that three of your students have upvoted this question and therefore you can answer it. I can also select to hide this question. Now this question is hidden and none of my students will see it show up in their Q&A. Now let's say that my student has a question. Well, they can also click on that ask a question button. Let's go ahead and click on it. How do we use Q&A? And then they can simply post that question. You can see they can choose to delete their question. Maybe it's being answered during the presentation or the lesson. And again, others can upvote this question. You as a teacher see that that question has been asked by this student. You see that that student there has his or her name. You can hide the question from all students. You can delete that question if you don't like it, or you can also mark it as answered. So say that I've answered the question on how to use the Q&A, I can now click on this tick here and mark it as answered. Your students will then see that that question has been answered by seeing a little tick next to the name. This is an incredibly useful feature. It's great for online presentations, online lessons, and it really helps those students that may have questions but don't really want to interrupt or ask them right there and then. It's also great for students that are a little bit shyer or maybe not as confident to ask those questions and allow them to just post them into the Q&A section. On the other hand, some students may not want to ask questions, but seeing other students' questions allows them to then upvote those questions and you instantly, as a teacher, see where your class is struggling and maybe which section of the lesson was not as clear as you thought it might be. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you want even more on Google Meet and other online learning platforms, click on that playlist at the top or maybe watch one of these suggested videos down below. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.